soon as I plug it in, it should appear. There it is at the top. So this was a request that I got in the comments to do a video on how to program the Akai MIDI mix to parameters of your drum programs. Since update 2.8, there is a slight change where you have to do a little bit of setup in order for your external USB MIDI device to be recognized within MIDI control and doing your MIDI learning. So I'll show you that step. It took me a minute to figure it out, was kind of frustrated. But now that that's all figured out, this is pretty simple. It's just like before. All right, so the first step that's new to update 2.8 in order to get your MIDI mix or any other controller that may have knobs that you want to program within MIDI control, what you got to do, first hit menu, go to the little cog wheel. This is your preferences option. And then we're going to go down to where it says MIDI sync. I'm going to plug in my MIDI mix so that it's recognized. As soon as I plug it in, it should appear. There it is at the top. So at the moment, I don't know if you can read these. They don't really come through with all the light. So they say track on the right. Um, so just with a little experimentation, at first being frustrated, I was just messing with these. So I clicked on control, and then that pretty much did it. So now it's allowing the MIDI mix to control. Um, I'm going to go, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to name a program. This is going to be my MIDI mix template. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm going to just save, when I'm done, I'm going to save a drum program that's empty. So effectively, I'm saving a program so that all the settings that are programmed from the MIDI mix are saved to it. So I can later load it in and then reuse it over and over for um, countless beats. So now that I have that named, I've actually put a few sounds on here. Just three. That's enough. I'm going to go to menu, MIDI control, and I hit the bottom. We have a tab that says MIDI learn. So I want to hit the plus sign here. From here, what I'm going to do is hit enable mapping. From there, I want to select a source. And I'm going to go to programs. I'm just going to head out from here. I don't I'm going to select program, MIDI mix temp, then pad, bank A, one. So I'm doing pad one. Now I want to select the target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to program this slider here to control volume. So I'm going to go to program. Actually, if it's easier, if you just go out and then turn the knobs. Now I got level. So the next thing to do would be to press learn to activate that. And then from here, all it should be is just a touch of the knob that I want to use to control that function. So as I press it, you'll see that it has received the MIDI information. So now if I go out, and for a visual, if I go into pad mixer, you can see pad one is now being controlled. So, if you want to program some other stuff, the process is pretty much the same. But one thing that's slightly different, if you do want to program this mute button, let's go into MIDI control, start this again, hit the little plus sign, and source, I'm just going to turn my big knob here to MIDI mix temp one more time, so it's pad A01. Set my target to pad mute, and then hit learn, and then press that mute button. Incoming uh, MIDI data, so if we go to pad mixer, Press mute, see that it's muting there. But by default, it's set to mute only as I hold it. So I let go and it's unmuted. Okay, so that may not be the way that I want it to function. I want it to function as if when I press mute, it stays muted. So in order to do that, back into MIDI control, we're looking at type. Right now it's set to note. I believe that means note on off, just like when you press a keyboard, those are MIDI signals of note on off as you let go of them. Um, they no longer play out, just like when you set to one shot or note on uh, with your pads within programs. So what you want to do is set this type, turn your MIDI knob, excuse me, set this type, turn your knob left to toggle button. So now when I go to pad mixer, press mute, you see the mute stays muted. Unmuted, muted, unmuted, muted. Perfect. Here we go. 
So that's pretty much it. Not to show a redundant process. I won't really program too much more, but I'll just take a look at some other things that you do have available. So if I press the plus sign, I look at my source. So other options you have to control, you can program MIDI tracks, audio tracks, uh, programs, of course, that's what we're doing now. So if you selected programs and you had more than one program, it would be selected here. Um, and you could scroll through them. I just have the one right now at the moment. Um, you could do return submixes and masters. That information, uh, I suppose, would be saved to a project. So if you did want to program that stuff, you would have to save an entire project. And you would go about that by setting the folder, save as, and that would save your entire project. Um, and in this case, if you want to save your drum program, you'd hit the pencil icon there and save current program. Maybe make a little folder for yourself. I've already made one that's labeled templates. Put it in there. And then you could load it up prior to, you know, every time you make a beat. Um, with project templates, you could always save them. With a project template, you could save it and select this to save it as a template. You could save countless programs if you wanted in there for different types of workflows. And then you could select that at the power up to open up your template, which has already all the MIDI mix information or external MIDI controllers. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me just take a quick look to see if there's anything else that I'm missing. So we'll stay on pad one. So as you see, there's different ways of selecting. You could press in and then select this way, which I think is maybe effective when you're um, when you have multiple pads or if you're trying to go, if you have multiple programs, if you have, uh, if you're trying to select a, a pad that's over here, because otherwise your process would be um, scrolling all the way through and that could take some time, especially if you have multiple drum programs. So yeah, just going back to pad A01, let's take a look at some other targets that we have. Um, target being the function that you want to affect. So level, pan, pad mute, pad solo, send, send to. Uh, now these sends you could be could be saved into your drum program. Tuning, filter cutoff. There's just a lot of stuff you can program your external devices to. So it is a nice addition to have something like this. Um, if you're keeping it simple, then maybe you could use Q-Links. Uh, and I will be having some future videos on programming Q-Links. So a lot of stuff here. But yes, all this information is saved to your drum program. So save that and recall it later. So there it is. Hopefully this was helpful to you. With update 2.8, we had that slight little change where you had to go into preferences and find your MIDI control and set it to control. So from there, you're good. If you don't own a MIDI mix and you're interested in buying one, then there is a link in the description to a MIDI mix, which is an affiliate link. So if you appreciate what I do here and are planning on purchasing a MIDI mix anyways, go ahead and click on that link. It helps my channel a little bit so that I can actually uh, maybe do this a little more often. So thanks, everybody. Until next time, stay humble, lift noise. God bless.